Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to draw the Lewis Dock structure for sulfur hexafluoride. Okay, to draw the Lewis Dock structure for sulfur hexafluoride, at first we have to find out the valence electron for sulfur and then fluorine. Look at here, the atomic number of sulfur is 16. So if you do the electronic configuration of sulfur, you will get this. Okay. So, valency shell, at first we have to uh, identify the valency shell. For valency shell, uh, to identify valency shell, we have to find out the highest value for principal quantum number. Here, the highest value for principal quantum number n equal to 3. So, for n equal to 3, sulfur will have 2 plus 4, that is 6 valency electron. Look at here, in the third shell or valency shell, there is a uh, d subshell which is empty that is why sulfur can uh, take uh, sulfur can take more than eight electrons right due to due to empty 3d orbital sulfur can break the octet rule right look at here here is another way to find out the valence electron for sulfur the group number tells us that the number of valence electron for the element so look at here the sulfur is the element of group 6a so if you deduct the a then you will get the number of uh, valence electron for sulfur or sulfur is the element group 16 so if you deduct the first digit then you will get the number of valence electron look at here uh, the atomic number for fluorine is 9. So if you do the electronic configuration, then you will get this. That is, for uh, you will get this. Here the highest value for uh, highest value for principal quantum number n equal to 2. So so 2s 2p is the uh, principal uh, valency shell so in valency shell we have 2 plus 5 that is 7 valency electrons or we have another way fluorine is a element of group 7a so if you deduct the a then you will get 7 for fluorine fluorine the valency electron for fluorine is 7 or group 17 if you deduct the first digit then you will get 7 so basically in sulfur hexafluoride uh, we have uh, sulfur has six valence electron and fluorine has uh, seven valence electron but the number of fluorine is six so if you multiply by six then you are getting seven times six that is 42 42 plus six that is 48 so in sulfur hexafluoride totally you have 48 valence electrons now you have to <coughs> identify the central atom right look at here central atom is that type of atom that is single or that has lower electronegativity so sulfur is single and it has lower electronegativity so sulfur is the central atom in the fourth step we have to connect central atom with outer atom here outer atom uh, is fluorine right so let me connect uh, fluorine with sulfur atom right we have six fluorine right okay so look at here or we one single uh, line means two dot right remember this so we can write uh, we can write this structure like this sulfur then fluorine then fluorine then fluorine and fluorine then fluorine five six right fluorine six fluorine look at here we have used two plus four plus uh, uh, two plus two four plus two six six plus six that is uh, six plus six that is twelve we have used twelve valence electron from forty eight so forty eight minus twelve so we are getting here 
so we have 36 left in our 36 left right we have 36 left so now we have to use these 36 valence electrons to to fulfill the octet for outer atom first right so fluorine here has two valence electron but we need six to complete its octet right so So look at here. Here the here chlorine fluorine has octet two, four, six, and two. The line uh, this line means two valence electron. This fluorine has octet. This fluorine has octet. So look at here. This fluorine has six dot. So we have one, two, three, four, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times, look at here, 6 times 6, that is 36. So, look at here, for, uh, we have used the 36 left electrons. That is, we have nothing to use here, right? So, this is the Lewis dose structure for sulfur hexafluoride. Look at here, here sulfur has 2, 4, 6, 12 valence electron. So, it has break, it has broken the octet rule due to the presence of D, 3D orbital in the valency shell. Now, we will find out the formal charge for fluorine atom and chlorine atom. Formal charge equal to valence electrons minus dot attached minus line attached. So let me find out the formal charge for fluorine. So the valency uh, electron of fluorine is 7 from electronic configuration and the dot attached to this fluorine is 6 and minus line attached to this fluorine is 1. So basically we have here 0. Right? All the fluorines is uh, equi e e equivalent, right, or uh, symmetrical. So all fluorine, all fluorine will have zero formal charge. Now let me find out the formal charge for sulfur. The sulfur, um, sulfur, the valency electron for sulfur is six minus dot attached to sulfur is zero. And minus line attached to this sulfur is 6. So basically you are getting 0. So the formal charge of this sulfur will be 0. So we know that best Lewis structure is that uh, structure that has 0 formal charge. So from these things, this is the Lewis dose structure, right? Okay. You can also write here like this. And I think you can do this. I will have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post to get more ideas. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.